The size and scope of this uh, tornado and the devastation around it, it, you really have to see it to appreciate it. Block after block after block, houses gone, vehicles upended. Uh, I'm seeing it now several weeks after the event, a lot of progress already made and maybe that's the most hopeful thing is to see debris removal happening, lots being cleared, commitments to rebuild the schools, rebuild the hospital. That's what's going to bring jobs to that. Hi, Janet. Nice to meet you. Stephanie nice Meeks. Doctors and nurses here are remarkable. I was hearing some uh, uh, tales of what happened the night of the storm, bringing patients down, no power, you know, trying to get them uh, emergency medical care where necessary, a, a doctor holding a flashlight in his mouth so that he could insert a chest tube into a young man who was dying from his injuries. I mean, those kinds of things really stick with you. They were up and running one week after the storm. They're in a, their mobile facility, but you know these mobile facilities can, can handle a lot of medical care, and so they're performing virtually 100% of the services they were performing before. Hearing what the community is doing, what the state has done with the community, it's a very impressive performance. But uh, again, the massive storm, and it's going to be a massive rebuild, but it'll get done. I'm very confident it will get done.